Hey friends, welcome to the channel. Today we've got something special for you. We are not at our homestead. We are at my friend's homestead and we are helping him install our solar system. It's going to be a different type of application here with some different parts and pieces that you haven't seen on my channel yet. We are going to be installing a new EG4 Power Pro battery and we are also going to be installing an EG4 12K, but we are going to be using a manual transfer switch to a critical loads panel. That critical loads panel is only going to have a few circuits on it to begin with, but there are some decent loads like the well pump, an air conditioner, and then our fridges and freezers and some lights. We will probably be doing this video in a two-part series, so stick around with us here on the channel to see how we are installing this system. Let's get going. First things first, we've got our panels already up. We have two EG4 bright mounts, and then on those, we've got six Bovier 435 watt bifacial panels. We've got our conduit run under the ground, and our wires are already run. You can see we kind of have this cage around it, but that's only because my buddy has a bunch of brand new puppies who like to chew on wires. So since this is on a bright mount and it's so low to the ground, we had to block everything off to be safe. Now let me show you where the system's gonna go in the house. Here we are in my buddy's utility room, and this is the only space really in the entire house where we can put the equipment. So I've got five feet of wall space to work with. I've got one 12K, the power pro battery, our transfer switch, and then our sub panel or a critical loads panel. Should work perfect on this little space. I recommend drawing everything out because when you're in a tight space like this, things can be a challenge to fit. But now what we need to do is find our studs in the wall, put on our hardy backer board, and get our 12K up on the wall. And then we've got this Eaton double throw switch right here, which we will use as our manual transfer switch. The EG4 12K is fairly heavy. It's about 120 pounds. So when you're securing your hardy board onto the wall, you need to do, do it really well. We like to use these structural screws. They seem to hold incredibly well, and we are gonna use a lot of them. Then the 12K comes with a bracket that we will mount also through that and into the wall. All right, let's start hanging stuff. We are making progress. We've got our hardy on the wall. We've got a lot of these Timberlock screws into the studs that should be good, but I might put a few more. I'm not sure yet. We've got our wall mount, our EG4 wall mount battery right here, and we've got our conduit box together. Now, these are really nice, and I recommend you probably get one of these to contain all the wiring that's between our wall mount battery and the 12K. These don't come with any instructions, and I couldn't find any, but it's not rocket science to put it together. It's a box. The bottom mounting plate just mounts directly to our wall mount battery, and it's got a grounding wire attached to it. We'll attach that to the ground screw on the battery. We'll get the proper knockouts for our 12K, and then we will connect this together like that. Before we set the height for our bracket for our 12K inverter, we need to adjust the battery just a little bit. The battery has a big bracket on the back of it. The bracket should not carry the full weight of this entire battery. That is done by, mostly by the feet, but I'm gonna adjust these feet down or in as far as they will go so that we can have a little more leeway on where this bracket sits on the wall. And that's because the tolerances on this bracket are very tight and it fits very tightly together. Our 12K inverter comes with this nice template. This is the size of the inverter and it has the exact cutouts for where our bracket is going to go. What we're gonna do is we are going to use a 5 16 inch drill bit and the heavy duty screws that came with the kit. What we're gonna do is set this template directly on top of our conduit box, if you're using one. You're gonna to wanna to drill four holes for these because this thing weighs so much. If you want, you can mark on your drill bit for the depth of the screws or anchors that you use. It's important that you drill a hole deeper than the anchor. All right, we've got our 12K bracket up on the wall in the proper position and our battery bracket on the bottom of the wall in the correct position. Now we elected to go above the 29.2 inches specified in the directions. We went to 29.5 inches, and that is because we can adjust the feet a little bit to get that height 
correct on the floor. So if your floor is a little uneven, then you want to do that. You want to put this a little bit above that 29.2 listed in the directions. Now the X bracket that comes with the Power Pro kit does not fit for the 12K or a 6K. It is only used for an 18K, so no need to put this one on. Okay, let's start hanging this stuff on the wall. Okay, you ready? Okay, now you can see my feet are just a little bit above the ground, maybe three eighths of an inch. I'm just gonna use an adjustable wrench. We're gonna unscrew these and just get them down, get that weight on the floor below. And then I'm just gonna tighten it against the floor a little bit just to get that weight distributed properly. Before you hang your 18K or 12K on the wall, you need to look at your conduit box and the bottom of your inverter and remove the proper knockouts. So that's what we're gonna do now. And then of course, knock out the corresponding ones in the bottom of your inverter. All right, now we're gonna hang this 12K on the wall. It needs two people. I've only seen one person really ever lift this up by himself. We're gonna get it on top of the conduit box first, like that. And then make sure your bracket on the wall has an arrow. The arrow is facing up. Unlike what you saw earlier in the video, I had it upside down. So now it's the correct way. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, lift. All right. Perfect. Something I didn't show earlier, but that's these little brackets for the 12K. They just connect down here and then they also go into the wall with a lag screw. We didn't have any lag screws to fit it right now, so we will be getting some extra ones and doing that a little bit later. Now that we have our battery and our 12K in place, we're gonna put some more hardy backer on the wall to go behind our critical loads panel and our transfer switch, and then we are gonna get these up on the wall. All right, we've got pretty much everything up on the wall that needs to go up on the wall. And the challenge all the time is running conduit, and that's what takes pretty much the longest for me anyway. Let me show you how I set everything up. In the next video, we will show how we are wiring it. Okay, over here we've got our critical loads panel. Now I know what you're saying. This is an exterior box. I know that. My friend had this on hand, and to save money, we're gonna use it. It will work just fine. Up above that, we have our manual transfer switch. We've got conduit, flexible conduit coming down to our um, conduit box over top of our PowerPro battery. And we've got the 12K on the wall, of course. We've got our conduit coming up from under the house, which is where we ran it. We've got our PV lines and our electrical grounded conductor coming up. We need a small piece of one inch to get that in the side of the conduit box because all the other ones are just way too big. So we are using the one inch right there. We've got our exploratory holes through the wall here. The walls were just a bit off in this house. So we had to drill another one right there. And then we will run our conduit body up like this, up to this side of the transfer switch, and then down this way to the top of our load center. When you're in a tight space, installations like this are a little challenging because we had to come over to hit the studs to hang our 12K and our battery on. So we have room over here on this side of the wall, but we can't utilize it. Now I know things on this side look a little challenged, but where we exit the wall here to come straight up into it, that's where we really had to put it. Yeah, we can do some flexible for this and the load center, but this will work perfectly fine. If you have any questions about how to physically install one of these 12Ks and a Power Pro battery, leave them for me in the comment section below. Now go check out this video right here, which is our installation video on the EG4 6000 XP. Have a beautiful blessed day. See you next time. Bye.